film, where today we're going to be discussing which Marvel characters we think should get their own TV shows. Here with me is James Forbes. Hello. And I'm Todd James. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's begin. All right, get going. To say, let's begin. What's going on? All right, you're meant to say hello to me. Anyway, carry on. You go first. All right. So, uh, we've done an article like this on our website. We have. Link here, maybe. <laughs> we'll see if we can manage it. Um, and we discussed this. And mm-hmm. we've, got, we've got quite a big response on mm-hmm. certain, certain mm-hmm. websites, yeah. My suggestion, I'm using this for my first suggestion, I'm using the same one I've said in that, is more than one su- okay. uh, superhero. Lay it on me. S- kicking off with Blade. Okay. Uh, there was talks recently about yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Blade getting back on board. Mm-hmm. Uh, I well, name. Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes getting back on board. Having um, Moon Knight, mm-hmm. who we've discussed in a video here. Sure. <laughs> We did with uh, yeah, Matthew yeah. McConaughey, yeah. yeah. All right, ruin it. <laughs> ruin oh, the sorry, ruin the surprise. Um, Ghost Rider, uh huh, and finally, go on, Punisher. Punisher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought that's who you were going to say. I was building up tension. All right, okay. it's not that I forgot <laughs> my own idea and I've got yes, it written it down. Um, <laughs> yeah. So in the same vein that they're doing the Defenders, yeah, yeah that you have these four guys. Who are all? They're all kind of anti-hero, rebel, yeah, scoundrels, whatever yeah. you want to use, yeah. And they're all kind of grey area, kind of heroes. Having yeah. these guys in the similar vein to the Netflix series that they've been doing with the Daredevil and such, having them trying to work together by the end of it, maybe have each one have their own series, and then having a, you could call it Marvel Knights or yeah, there's there's another name for them, but I forget right now. Um, Having them all work together against a much bigger threat. We might have something like Dracula. I believe there is a okay. Marvel type Dracula. Okay. It's, uh, one of um, Blade's villains, I believe, is Dracula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in there somewhere. He's Everyone's in, there. in the Marvel e- universe. There's always say somewhere. a name and they're in there. They're yeah. in there somewhere. Uh, and having them all up against one common evil who's way, way out of line, more so than they are. Yeah. And having them have to work together, and then obviously you have them all hate each other. Yeah, and be yeah like, but they would. As they well. would, yeah. They would all yeah. hate each other. You have Moon Knight just back there going crazy, like yeah. talking to himself. Not the moon. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which moon is it? Crescent. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And then you have the Punisher just be like, "No, it's my way. I'm just gonna go in there and kill everyone. If I want to shoot him in the face. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then having Blade like, guys, like, seriously, I've been in a team. Like, we need to work together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, Ghost Rider just be on fire. Yeah. He's just, just on he's fire. He's just there though. with his arms crossed, like. <sighs> just disappointed with yeah. this mayhem going on but I think that'll be great I think yeah, yeah. Um, potential snags budget budget yeah. <laughs> yeah well saying that on on the DC world Warner yeah. Brothers DC uh, they have a character on their Arrow show Arrow yeah uh, called Firestorm right and his character is on fire like every time you see him is he riding a motorbike on fire though? <laughs> That's, that, that's the that would, that would yeah, cross that's the, the line. The budget's gone. That's it. We bought a motorbike, guys. Yeah. He, d- yeah. he does fly, so okay. they managed to achieve that. And that's a, you know, uh, it's not an arrow actually. Sorry, I got that wrong. It's on Flash, right? But Aaron Flash are pretty much the same nowadays. Um, well, they do a lot of crossovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they come um, in the same place. So you have got f- they're able to do that. So I don't see why Marvel couldn't. Yeah. And then the other kind. Of, Moon Knight, not so much. It's just more of a costume. Yeah. <laughs> and the Punisher is just a costume. He li- yeah, yeah, yeah. Is literally no special effects. It's yeah. just... Just John Berthel rubbing his head a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Blade again. No, yeah. Like, it other, is just other, other than the teeth. Those having teeth. To, that, whoa, how much that costs? That right? teeth expenditure. Woo. Yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I would be well up for it, though. And, that, and again, it would go with the... I, I see this that more as a Netflix than a... Yeah, yeah, Normal Netflix TV. definitely, yeah. Um, Rather than a weekly show, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then that eventually could lead to that plus Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage. Oh, like, versus. In like, in like the ultimate. Yeah, the team. fight for the yeah. Hell's Kitchen, yeah. Although Ghost Rider doesn't really need any of their help. Yeah. Because he can't really die. <laughs> but yeah. that's easy, he's got a motorbike. It's besides the point. <laughs> it could just. It, you could add like a time limit to. I don't know. 
I don't know Ghost Rider and Mouse. Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> like, like, oh, oh no, my powers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Somebody gets like a super soaker and that's like his... They're like, what, you brought a super soaker to a gunfight? <laughs> like, yep, yeah, done. Yeah, all right, who's maybe. next? Take one out. Yeah. All right. Um, similarly to you, I went for the same suggestion I have for that article. It's just too good to pass up, I think. Mm. And that is The Warriors 3 and Lady Sif. And that's oh, okay, yeah. yeah. From, from obviously the Thor films, because um, um, the, the I forget her name, but the uh, actress playing Lady Jamie Sif, Alexander, she's got a TV series come out. She does do TV, she's, right? Um, so she, I'm I'm fairly sure she'll be up for it. And plus, well, what what are the Warriors Three and Lady Sif doing? In were they even in four two? I can't even remember. Maybe uh, for one a couple, scene, a couple of them had a couple of lines. They changed a character, uh, an actor for one of the yeah. characters, and no one knew. Yeah, true. But yeah, and they're just—they're like an. A, I think they're really like unexplored, untapped resource. You have Ray Stevenson. Yeah, you have the Ray Punisher. Steve- yeah, the Punisher himself. <laughs> yeah, um, and they're just—and this could be a bit more of a light-hearted, fun kind of, not necessarily on Netflix show. And I would say that the budget would be too much, but. Yeah, they already have all like loads of the sets and costumes and stuff. So like yeah. th- that huge expense is already out of the way. Yeah, um, will yeah. be it'll be interesting to see. Now this is this what inspired us doing this video yeah. was the recent news of uh, Marvel are doing a new TV show. It's called yeah. Damage Control, and it's it's kind of, it's kind of what they wanted to do with Agents of Shield, right? Kind of. Um, and they did it briefly. They did like a couple of episodes of it. It's the cleanup crew. They're the people who, after all of the destruction, like in uh, Age of Ultron, right? They go in and clean it up. And it's set as a comedy. And I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but I'm really hoping they do it like a mockumentary, like The Office, and them talking about right, <laughs> <laughs> like oh look what we found today, and shooting each other <laughs> yeah. by accident, like with uh, oh no, a Scepter. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like ah. Oh, Killed him again. Oh no! Right. Um, so they're doing. Marvel's already. That's gone off, and that's mm. a comedy. And there isn't. The, I mean, there, there's funny bits in their properties, but there isn't a TV property yeah, comedy. A straight comedy. And then yeah. to have um, Warriors Three as well, you can get that, but yeah. with a within Four's type of world yeah. as well. And I also think um, Asgard and that world. So the Thor, apart from maybe. No, I'll say it. I think Thor, of all the characters in the comics, has can stand alone the best. I think that he has the richest universe and the most like characters that are good enough to have like their own Episodes show. Yeah, characters. yeah, and I think that would be obviously you wouldn't get Chris Hemsworth, Anthony Hopkins, and Tom Hiddleston yeah. like in every episode. Maybe Anthony Hopkins' first episode, and he sends them off for a mission. Like <laughs> yeah. falls on Earth for long periods of time nowadays. So you have to go to Svartalfheim. Yeah, <laughs> like, you have like, to yeah. do his errands. Yeah, yeah, and get and then see what they actually do because we've always followed it from Thor's perspective, and he's literally on Asgard for five seconds, and he's on Earth. Yeah, fighting something, and, and, and it could even be like they've got the Bifrost, mm. so they can go like anywhere in the nine realms. And we can see all of that, yeah. Yeah, we saw some of them in the Dark World yeah. and in the first Thor, and I really those were the, some of the best scenes. Yeah, and you know, if, to get a chance to see some more of those, I think would be awesome. Cool. All right. All right. Give me another I one. Cut you short there, but that's all right. I was done. <laughs> Agents of Sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Not Shield, but Sword. Oh, not Shield. Okay. Yeah. There are. Uh, if anyone. Anyone, please. If anyone's watching Agents of Shield, there are some uh, there's some theories that they've introduced a bunch of new characters for the new season. Right. Um, that they may be, and I'm hoping by the time this video is released, they haven't then just announced it. But they <laughs> they've introduced a kind of another Black Ops uh, run by the government industry who who are tasked with capturing special ability people. Right. <laughs> So that, that was so politically correct. Yeah. Special ability people. Yeah, I didn't want to say, <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. Uh, and enhanced. The enhanced to capture yeah. them and take control of them. Now, with Sword, you know, you have Shield, they do anything on Earth, while Sword keeps all of the aliens from getting into Earth. Right. That's the kind of. It's like a bouncer. They're like the bouncers of right. Earth, yeah. So having them. Uh, 
having another show and learning from the mistakes that they had with Shield, just starting it off straight away. Because uh, like Shield season one, where everyone was h- hyped for the first episode, did really well in viewing figures, yeah. but it <laughs> yes. cut everyone off. <laughs> everyone was like, "Wait a second, what?" And yeah. they all, you know, some people say to the second, some people say fair, but a lot, a lot of it dropped off. Mm-hmm. And then when it got to the season two, it was just great. It was just a really good first episode. Okay. And then it dies off again. <laughs> but at least they had a really good first episode, unlike the first season. And now season three, one of their best episodes yet. They've some for some reason they've increased the budget. They're like, oh, this show, yeah, let's put more money onto this. Decreasing numbers. Yeah. <laughs> let's put more money into it. Yeah. Um. But it's it, the show's got spectacular. The end of season two was phenomenal. But uh, having a agents of sword, letting them learn from the mistakes they made with Shield and having a whole new team of, yeah. and them dealing with aliens trying to get onto it. you could imagine like yeah. you remember the scenes in like Men in Black where they yeah. put all of the oh my aliens God, comparing it to Men in Black has really sold it for me Yeah, no, not saying that to make funny that <laughs> genuinely that is actually in that kind of way where it's like it. immigration control yeah. but with aliens and and obviously there's some aliens with not so nice intentions and they're kind what? of having to stop them <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, I, I like that idea. I think it would be a tough sell to people who are like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I hate that. Yeah. Agents of S.W.O.R.D., I'm not going to be fooled twice. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, it sounds cool. Especially the Men in Black comparison, like I said, that really did sell it for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. We'll sh- I've got another one. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Yeah. The Howling Commandos. Oh, so you, you're liking all of these side characters. Yeah, aren't you? I am. I am. You want to explore them a bit more? Yeah. Well, they kind of in Agent Carter. They kind of get a, a bit more screen right. time. They, I, I haven't seen Agent Carter. Yeah, you would love it because okay, it's eight episodes long. Great. Yeah, that was the problem with Agents of Shield. That was the problem with Agents of Shield. Eight episodes long, and I think two or three of them is with the Howling Commandos. Right. Which but, is okay. Sp- I guess spoiler, but whatever. <laughs> As someone who hasn't seen that, yeah. There are bits in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I have seen most of, where, where they get some of the old Howling Commandos tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, yeah, those moments trick. I was like, yeah. oh, all right. And to see them basically being like the founders or, you know, being there at S.H.I.E.L.D.'s inspiration. Inception. Yeah, and they mm-hmm. are yeah. there to... They're involved They're in like the, the task force. Like They're like the Avengers before the Avengers almost. Yeah. Um, and just yeah, there's like some great personalities in there, and some there'd be good chemistry, and yeah, none of them are hugely famous. I feel like it could happen yeah. again, like sets and stuff all done and won't be that expensive. Get Peggy Carter in there a couple of times, be yeah, like, yeah. hello, yeah. Get young Michael Douglas there, like. So you would have. What's up? Imagine if all of our ideas came to fruition, you would have the spin-off of the Defenders world being the Marvel Knights <laughs> one. I should have said the spin-off for. Agents uh, of Shield being, being agents, agents of Sword, <laughs> and then the spin-off for um, Agent Carter being the Howling Commandos, and yeah. the spin-off for Thor being <laughs> yeah. So all these spin-offs are getting spin-offs, yeah. And then there'd be like one of the Agents of Sword <laughs> would <laughs> yes. like get their own spin-off. Well, you joke, they were considering doing that with Agents of yeah, Shield. Yeah, that was they were going to get idea. Um, Mocking Mockingbird yeah. and. That and English guy. Yeah, another uh, yeah. Hunter, I believe. They were going to have them to do a spin off. It was really idea. weird when you were watching it because I knew the information and then they kept on saying, oh, we got to do this other stuff. And like, okay. And then they come back <laughs> and they're like, we did it. Okay. Because the show got cancelled and they're not doing it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, my last one. Okay. Uh, and the last one. Am I right? You don't have any more? I got one more. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe not. In the back of my head. Stay tuned. Okay. okay. Go. It's it's a bit broad. Okay. Just country specific superhero teams. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean by broad? <laughs> so I'm talking like Alpha Flight. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Captain Britain. The Captain Britain. Right. Uh, Go on, really name some more. <laughs> Go on, James, name some more. Maybe doing like the West Coast Avengers, but I think that's yeah. maybe a bit too big for TV. Yeah. I don't know. Um, you could do like uh, the Wakanda, the Wakanda stuff with not with Black Panther. Yeah. Or but with um, Shuri, is it Black Panther? Who's his sister? Okay. And they have the whole. I, I'm not gonna remember the actual name, but they have like the, they're the two different task like strike force teams. Yeah. 
that they have there, and that would be quite cool, yeah. But um, why does it always have to be about America? Like, have the Maximovs go back to, yeah, like, in their wherever. attempts to rebuild Sokovia? Yeah. Oh, we're under attack again. Oh, darn. Well, one Maximov, who's also an Avenger now. Oh yeah, I forgot Awkward. that. Awkward. Yeah. That one won't happen then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was just it was just another idea. Just mainly yeah. Alpha Flight. Make it a bit more global. It's yeah. supposed to be like New York. Better yeah. not sing that music. Copyright and all that. Well, it's Marvel still. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, right, oh, for know. our video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. All right, go on. Let's let's hear your last okay. one. Let's get this over with. First of all, I do like that idea. Yeah. But would it be shown in every country, or would it be yeah, yeah, only we... shown? So you have to go to that country to watch. <laughs> no, it'll be sh- it will still be shown across the world. Okay. But it would. It would just you make know, it more global. It would make it more global, yeah. yeah sure. Which the Avengers films are trying to do. They're having them going across the world. Yeah. But by having... Yeah. All right. She-Hulk. Um, okay. okay. Right. So She-Hulk yeah. is... First of all, her daytime job, like Matt Murdock, is being a lawyer. Oh. So, so you can have some like awesome law drama. Who doesn't love that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Sold. <laughs> Well, that's that's what NBC just said. Yeah. They want that. Now. Um, and also, she is a lot more in control of her powers when she becomes She-Hulk. Yeah, so then the Hulk is. Yeah, so, you know, you wouldn't just have, like, mindless smashing scenes. And also, she doesn't look as, like, ridiculous and roided out as the Hulk does. So yeah. you, you could probably do it a lot cheaper, maybe even do it practical. What like the uh, original? Yeah, Hulk Lou Ferrino, TV? Yeah. yeah, maybe not quite like that. Get a body, a uh, female bodybuilder. Yeah, I suppose maybe. Sure. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm a different face. <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah, but they could with the technology they used for Captain America when they stitched on uh, right. Chris Evans' face was this <laughs> this really poor skinny guy. I felt right. so sorry for that guy. I believe he did get credited in it, but you'd never see his face. Captain America neck down. Yeah. <laughs> imagine the casting call. Really pale. <laughs> really skinny. Yeah. Like an eight year old boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. An eight year old boy who's actually in their twenties. Can you please volunteer? Yeah. Mm. Um if they use that same technology, so you have a body female bodybuilder yeah. painted in green Great. in the costume and then right. put on her face of the character. Maybe, maybe. that no. This is sounding like a worse and worse idea. But yeah, just... She is a lot, a lot less reliant on her powers than the Hulk. Yeah. To, so I feel and like more it... More But show. then, the uh, the issue would be... Cutting a hole in my own one. Anytime there was an episode where she didn't become the Hulk, you'd be like, well, that was a waste of an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to watch this. Yeah. Um, I suppose. Yeah, but still, I think if they do do it, it belongs a lot more on TV. Yeah. Anyway... Have you guys got any suggestions? Do you like any of our suggestions? I hope you do. We thought long and hard about it. Um, leave any suggestions you guys have in the comments. And thanks a lot for listening, guys. Bye. Bye. But what better way to motivate Nick Fury to do something than to tell him not to do something? Three stories, all just from different parts of the world. And different time points as well. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's probably going to be the biggest one of the year.